Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yes! Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. <laughs> and I am super elated to be watching a new Lindy Hop video today. It looks like it is duh, or no, dig the feet. And it looks to be a improvisational dance by Louie and Morgan. I'm not sure where they're from, but I saw the thumbnail and I was like, yep, I gotta check this one out. So I don't know what to expect, but I'm gonna let you know exactly what I thought about their dancing at the conclusion of this video. Are you ready for it? Hey. All I know is it's new. So let's get right into it and see these wonderful dances. Okay, screen's still black, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like that head movement. Okay, so this appears to be improvised, but what I see so far is, whoa, I like that footwork. I don't know if he slipped uh, or if that was unintentional or deliberate, but that was pretty amazing. I wonder where this is at. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, this is French, but I don't know if it's Canada or if this is... Yes, yeah, Canada. All right. Moria. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> But right now, I'm really digging this leader's personality. It, there's like this confidence that's there, and this natural groove. <clears throat> and the followers just like going with it. Just, All right. They're clearly having a good time. Like, there's no like pressure to like not be themselves. That was great. Now, I gotta admit, I don't know who's who on this one. Not sure who's uh, Louis and who's Morgan. But either way, both of them were incredibly magnetic dancers. I will tell you, it. There's certain things that you just can't teach in swing dancing, and that part is confidence. I think that comes with your experience, messing up, being embarrassed, 
And the resilience you might have in, in response to that uh, tends to develop that confidence that you see these dancers have. So I don't really know how long they've actually been dancing, but I will tell you from what I see, I like what I saw. I like the confidence that's there. And I would, I would assume they've been dancing for some time to be able to have that, uh, that swagger that's just open and uh, intrepid. I think that's the word I'm looking for. I liked how they worked together. I really liked how the follower was just being silly with the leader, you know, playing around every once in a while. She did that little head throw thing from a swing out. <laughs> that was like random and great. And I liked how he has this groove in his movement that a lot of people don't have. I mean, I've taken some Lindy Hop classes before in the past where they spent the entire hour just teaching people how to clap on beat. And I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. And I hate those classes. I really hate those. Clapping's not that hard. Um, but I also think a lot of people like to stretch those classes out, you know, just kind of highlight that stuff. But I used to remember that and it seems like these dancers don't, you don't have to teach them that, particularly the leader. He just, he just has this natural ability to feel the swing rhythm in a way where it doesn't look like he's trying to dance. And that part's very difficult to transmit to a, a student from a, as a teacher. You just have to encourage people to just be in the process, go through social dancing processes and your journey to mature and fail and mess up and get better. And eventually at some point a couple of years for some people a couple of months for those who are overly ambitious you figure this thing out and it just becomes a part of you where you're just kind of like moving you know what i mean and i love that i think that was the the best part about this video is i felt like i wasn't just watching a bunch of people who just learned how to social dance and everybody knows their name so that's why they're cheering these people actually get my respect you know, from what I saw, I, I liked it. It was fresh. It was different. They looked different. I like that. Um, I haven't seen, I don't know if I've seen him before dancing, but she seems familiar. She seems familiar. I've, I've gone to Montreal a few times to go uh, social dancing and, and work on choreography with one of my partners. And I just remember vacillating from one dance studio to the next just to kind of check out the scene and dance. And I think I may have seen her maybe even dance with that, uh, the follower. Whomever, whoever it is. It might be Morgan, it might be Louis. We don't know. We don't know. I don't know. I can't say we. You probably know. But what did you guys think about this? I thought this was cool. This happened just a few days ago. Um, it looked like it was like at an event. Uh, Dig the feet, swing and rockabilly. That's cool. Kind of a mix together. That's really neat. Um, let me know what you guys thought about this in the comment section. And please let me know who these people are and who's who. I would love to give them proper credit because they're really, really good dancers. And I appreciate them just being themselves. I think that's one of the hardest challenges for a dancer to mature in swing dancing and maintain a sense of individuality. I think it's a very difficult process for any person to go through. And I would encourage you, if you've watched this and you feel like, man, I got to do what, exactly what they're doing to be good. You know, I got to do exactly what... Uh, your favorite hero is doing in order for you to feel like you're good. It may not be true. It may not be true. There are some technical things that everybody has to know in terms of how the mechanics of Lindy Hop works. But other than that, everything else is about your personality and your original way of moving. And I want to encourage you to just go through that process. Go through the process of taking class, but I encourage you to social dance a lot more. I put in like 10,000 hours of social dancing, like really nerded out on it and like document it. You know, I just went really crazy because I was trying to figure it out as someone who could already dance in my dance world coming into Lindy Hop. And I didn't know the mechanics of how it worked. I was just like, look, I don't have time for this, this community the way you guys are doing. It's kind of a fraternity. Just where's the Lindy Hop University? Here's my money. How do I learn it? And it, I just couldn't get a straight answer. I had to go through that system. I had to go through traveling and going to events and, you know, not enjoying the class experience that much and dealing with difficult people and, and the good dancers not wanting to dance with me to help me get better. And I went through all of it and I hate that feeling. But if you are struggling right now, and I want to encourage you that 
Uh, I want to tell you that Lindy Hop isn't hard and it's not easy. It's simple. What's hard is doing simple things over time. And you know that. You can attest to that in every area of your life where you have gained some type of discipline. It, it, you had to decide. You had to cut off something else and replace it with whatever it is that you want it to grow in. And so I encourage you. With Lindy Hop, it's the same way. For every class that you take, I would encourage you to take at least an hour or two to go social dance. It will really help you revolutionize your learning curve so that you're not just stuck in your head all the time, and nor are you just going through the journey and trying to recreate the wheel when you can really take some shortcuts to help you mature faster. So I encourage you to check out my fundamentals membership. I literally put in all of those hours. I'm not telling you it wasn't like 100% not fun because I was social dancing, but it was always this reaching for this carrot, not knowing if it was 100% right or not. And eventually I was able to figure out some, some very specific things to uh, help a dancer fix themselves when they're social dancing. That's the key because you're the one that has to ride the bike if you're learning a bike, uh, you know, if you're learning how to ride a bike. Same with dancing. So I, as a teacher, don't want you to always have to need me. I want to just give you the concepts so that you can take them and go, oh, here's how they work if I were to process them every day for 15 minutes. So I would encourage you to check out that Fundamentals membership. It will change your swing dancing life. If you want a taste of our creativity and what we do every single week, every Monday and Tuesday, we're posting new original movements for our students. We're really pumped up about demystifying the complexity of Lindy Hop so that the artistic elements of it can flourish in a very responsible way. So take a look at the, the free courses. I got about 30 of them. They will really inspire you. So let me know what you guys thought about Dig the Feet swing rockabilly i've never been there so let me know what this is, this is about i'd love to know about more about these two dancers louis and morgan man congratulations to those two dancers they were really cool i might have to borrow that slide move he did i don't know if it was deliberate or not so let me know that was pretty dope that was pretty dope so if i don't see you guys in one of my um classes online hopefully i get a chance to see your opinion in this reaction video or the next take care